I'm Linda French and we're at the International Quilt Festival. This quilt is called On Its Winter's Day. This quilt was initially uh, a dream of Nancy Prince's seven years ago when she uh, wanted a quilt to display the thread painting work that she does. So she began seven years ago creating all of these uh, thread painted embroideries to uh, someday put on a quilt. What she does is she takes the uh, Dissolve 4X bridal tool and a water soluble woven, drops the feed dogs, straight stitch or um, zigzag, it's all you need, uh, then draws an image on here and then sits there and fills it in, kind of like a paint by number. So she's gradually creating these as thread appliques. So they stand in her hands, puts them in a the drawer and wait someday to have a quilt to put them on. So after the, about six, seven years, she decided it was time, last uh, about a year ago, to start trying to come up with a quilt to be able to showcase her work. So she went into Photoshop and started working on the image. She had in her mind an image that she was wanting to put all the horses in the carriage, et cetera, on. She had this image in her mind all this time. So with Photoshop, over about five months, she created and made this image. One of the advantages of that, she was able to enhance what she wanted with color, what she didn't want with color. We were able to have as much of an image as we did or did not want. Uh, there was some vagueness to what she did, and the purpose of that was we wanted to be able to put as much thread work into this and less image, similar to not wanting to have a panel underneath. So a best example I can give you of that is when I received this printed um, piece of cloth, and put it, went to quilt it. The trees. When I went to quilt this quilt and I would reach this section here, I knew a tree goes there because there'd be a stick or there would be the beginnings of a tree like the trunk or whatever, but the tree itself really was not there. So I then had to change the thread color in my, uh, as quilting and then I had to quilt in and create a tree. So essentially what I did was I quilted the quilt and added trees, added roadways. The roadways were a little bit obscure and, and sometimes not obvious. Sometimes it all looked like snow. So I had to use thread color, a tremendous number of thread color changes to be able to create her depth, add roads, add trees, and add as much thread interested uh, dimension as I could. Uh, the number, I used 100% silk thread top and bottom with constant thread color changes. Ice is very difficult to quilt. When you quilt, you create movement and you create some, uh, some puff. Well, ice is, is neither one of those. So what I did is just constant straight narrow lines and I changed thread colors very frequently, doing a little section, then change colors and add a little more, trying to give this ice as much as I could to make it look like ice. When I first got this quilt, I, I when, actually when Nancy first called me about helping her to create this quilt, I, I was kind of hesitant. I have never done a landscape before. This is my first attempt at a landscape. I am known for feathers, background fills, and that type of work. So when I first got the quilt, the first, the first almost month that I had it, I took paper and pencil looking at it, doodling, trying to figure out how in the world do you quilt snow? Because it has movement, there's a lot to snow that we don't necessarily notice. So anyway, after about a month, I didn't have any time left because if I was gonna get this quilted and back to her in time to do her part, it, had, it, was, it was go for it. So I put it on the frame, started quilting it. I quilted in all of her trees, as, did add as much dimension interest. The part that was printed, that's more image under here that you see, I would add as much thread and color and, and improve upon it the best I could and added what else I could, like all the trees and stuff. So a lot of this is like thread painting with quilting and a lot of it is enhancing the image that Nancy had for her quilt. Because essentially what she did was give me a wonderful road map to work with. Uh, then after I was um, done with this quilt, adding all the cobblestones and etc., cetera, um, it was a whole cloth quilt. So when I was finished, there were no buildings on it, there was no people on it, no horses. This is also thread painting that Nancy does. So there was nothing on this quilt except a beautiful landscape. It was beautiful in its own right, 
Obviously, there wasn't a whole lot going on here, but it was just a beautiful landscape. I sent it down to Nancy. I'm from Ohio, uh, so I shipped it to Nancy. As being from Ohio, I would not have picked winter. But she, uh, she uh, had a whole cloth quilt in her possession, and then she took all of the pieces she's worked on for the last seven years and, uh, and decided where they go, and she attached them with machine applique to the quilt. And that is how this entire quilt was created.